Hi, welcome to Bear Mountain. Today we're doing an inspection of our anemone plantings that we've done. And we've got, uh, in this section of our crate house, we have uh, two things going on. The first side over here nearest to me is an experiment we did by leaving in anemones from last season and beginning a watering process right around the beginning of eight, uh, August to get them to germinate. Um, they're a little bit ahead of the ones we did on our new pre-sprout method, which we planted in the first week of October, which is now about four and a half weeks ago. And what we're noticing here is that the anemones left over, we have inconsistency in terms of the vitality of some of these. Um, it seems that the Carmel Whites didn't do as well in terms of coming back the next year. Uh, we have some bare spots on it, and but the reds, the maroon reds, and the and the pastel mix uh, seem to be doing okay. We are at a point too where we're looking at these things and trying to judge if we're going to actually get any early blooms because that was the whole point of the experiment. If we could get these things germinated early enough, would we, with the light levels being the way they are, get them to the point where they're blooming? And what it appears to be with the pastel mix is they are indeed beginning to put up buds. As we notice, we've got a few here and there. But when we really start getting down and looking at the plant, we can start noticing that they're putting, they're putting buds together uh, along as well with our weeds that we need to get rid of. And we can see uh, that they're starting to put up flower buds. Like here's two in this one alone. And so this may indeed get us to a point where we're going to have early blooms such that we may have some in um, by as early as mid-December. So that's what we were kind of shooting for is, is if we could get some anemones ready for Christmas. The trick on this is going to be now is how do we protect these guys from freezing weather. We're going to have some pretty good cold weather this evening. Uh, it's going to get down to in the high 20s. Normally anemones, I wouldn't worry about it too much at that point, but with flower bud formation starting on this side, we're definitely going to put fabric cloth over. We're going to use our Agrabond 50. I think one layer will do the job. As we pan back now and look at the, the second half of the crate house, these are all guys that were planted on the first week of October. So that's week 40. They were done with the pre-sprout method. Took about 10 days to get them to the point where they were uh, showed good sprouts and rooted. And this is what it looks like, you know, uh, which is now four and a half weeks post-transplant. They're looking really pretty vigorous. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of start, you know, foliar feeding them and try to get them maybe a little bit bushier. But if all holds well, we may be cutting on these guys by mid-January, which has really kind of been the hope. So, we just wanted to kind of give you an update that the pre-sprout process worked really well. We lost very few that we can tell uh, from anything on rot or any kind of disease. Sometimes, if you get disease in the corms, it really starts to show up once they start to grow. And um, we've been trying to keep this house a little bit on the warmer side to kind of stoke them to get them to go a little faster. And it seems to be like that's, that's paying off. So we just wanted to kind of give you an update. We're going to post this in with our playlist on anemones. So when you see it, um, you can be sure to get catch the other three parts. This is just a follow-on, say this is how it worked out, and so far it's looking pretty good. So be sure to check out the rest of our YouTube channel. We've got other videos on other topics. Crate Houses is one of them. We did a, a Q&A on anemones, period. Also, too, it's important to note that the pre-sprout method that we use for the anemones works the same for ranunculus with the exception you don't want to soak those ranunculus for much more than well max is eight hours but you're trying to get them plump and it could be as soon as four hours so somewhere between four and eight hours you got to keep an eye on them that's when they're perfect Okay, and also be sure to check out the show notes down below. There's uh, maybe some links to other uh, information, like back to our blog or, or other things. Also, too, 
If you happen to uh, want to buy some of the pre-sprout bubblers and stuff like that, we'd appreciate it if you use our, our Amazon affiliate links. Those are really helpful. And thanks a lot for watching today, and be sure to subscribe. You can see the little uh, emblem up in the corner. It's either going to be on the left or the right, but it'll, it'll be our logo. You can click on that. And we hope you have a good day, and thanks for watching. Bye.